Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, uh, today I wanted to speak to you about something that I recently read in the news and it has really impacted me. And um, I wanted to talk about it on my vlog. Well, um, I'm sure many of us have read about the recent uh, suicide case that happened about two days ago in one of the most prestigious colleges of our country. And um, as I was going through the letter that, you know, the suicide note that this particular boy had written, it really, really broke my heart. And I realized that more than what I was feeling, it was more of the father's heart, okay, more of God's heart towards this boy, because honestly, I don't know who this boy is personally, but it really impacted me as I was reading his letter. And I wanted to talk to you about that letter today. Um, I know that I've always introduced myself as a Christian vlogger, and that is who I am. But today's video is not just for people who believe in Jesus, but it's even for those who have not as yet. Um, it, it's just for everyone. Well, as I was reading the letter, I think there were two things that really stood out to me. Uh, the first thing was the, when the boy had written that I am not worth it. Okay, he said, I'm not worth anything. My parents have sacrificed a lot for me and I'm worth nothing. Now, that is a thought that I think has crossed each of our minds at one point in our life. And considering the fact that we live in such a competitive world where there are people who, you know, are always ready to pass comments and to criticize, I understand understand that things get really really heavy for us but you know um there is an invitation for everyone that jesus is available to take away your heavy burdens he says that come to me all those who are tired weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest so rest is available in jesus well if you have found it you know what i'm talking about and if not then the invitation is always open for you um it's not imposing but it's just an invitation from god he's such a gentleman he will never force himself on you but if ever there comes a point in your life where you feel like you're not worth it i think we need to remind ourselves of john 3 16 which tells us that god gave his only begotten son for the world because he loved the world not because he loved just christians but because he loved the world so you are a part of that as well so remember that god thinks you are worth it and that's why he bankrupted heaven gave away heaven's most prized possession so that you could be set free so i think that is very important for us to remember and secondly the you know one of the lines that really stood out for me from the letter was when he wrote that there is no place for failures in this world and that really broke my heart somewhere and you know that only shows the kind of world we have created where we feel like if we are not good enough and considering the kind of college this guy came from he you know from the outside it looked like he had it all but what was his internal turmoil was that he was not good enough and that he was a failure and so i just want to tell you today and i just have this proposal and it's really up to you whether you want to believe it or not but uh, let's take a look at the bible and let's see what God has done with failures, right? God is in the business of turning failures into a success story, into turning nobodies into somebodies, into turning the unloved into the beloved. That is God's forte. So if you look at the life of Abraham, you know, he was, uh, he, he was timid. He lied in quite a few instances. He was also very impatient and he felt like God would never fulfill his promise. So he took a shortcut and had an illegitimate child with his helper. And of course, God was faithful. So Abraham, according to the world standards, was a failure. And then we also have King David, who fell into adultery, also committed murder, absolute failure and yet you know his life is an example to us even today he is still known as a man after god's own heart and forget about the old testament let's even look at the new testament you know we have people like the great apostle peter he was the one who denied jesus thrice he was very very violent in quite a few instances as well he needed to be rebuked and corrected a failure according to the world standards but you know jesus could use him mightily and he contributed he became the rock on which the church was started hence peter and of course let's look at apostle saul who later became paul and he was the one who murdered the christians he was an utmost failure uh, you know but yet god just poured out his 
spirit on him as well so let me just remind you once again that God is in the business of turning failures like I said earlier into success stories I've experienced this myself I've had so many people come and tell me I'll not do anything in life my dreams are too big too unrealistic and all of that but it all depends on which voice are you going to listen to so today if someone tells you that you're not valuable remember God thinks you're pretty valuable all right that's why he didn't think twice before you know sacrificing his own life on the cross and you know so that he could ransom you back so remember that and remember next time someone tells you you're not worth it God thinks you are to die for If you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.